Hello, Yawning Angel back again with another video. And for this video, I want to take us back to October 2024, where at a Southwest Amiga group meet, I was asked this question. Nothing too technical. <laughs> um, have you used, and what are your thoughts on if you have, the AMCAF extension for Amos? Yes, that question was, have you used and what are your thoughts on the AMCAF extension? Well, the answer to that question was no, I'd never heard of it, and as such, I'd never used it. But since then, I've managed to find it and I've downloaded it. And I thought for this video, what we'll do, we'll install it on the Amiga. But before we do, what actually is AMCAF? AMCAF is an extension which adds a load of commands and functions to AMOS Pro. Some of these are whole new commands, while others are enhancements to existing commands within the AMOS Pro language. The AMCAF extension is created by Chris Hodges, who, from what I can see from the documentation, is based in Germany. This extension boasts 200 new commands and functions for AMOS Pro. Some of these you can probably see scrolling up the screen now. And we're going to take a look at these in due course. But looking at these new commands and functions is not for this video right now. No, for this video, we're purely going to look at the install process for AMCAF. So, you know how this works. Let's grab a cuppa and dive on in. Right, first things first, cup of tea. Mm. Uh, tea brought to us via the What Ho Snorkers mug today, which is pretty cool. Go check out Snorkers' channel. It's well worth it. Mm. Right, so... What I've done on my Amiga, I have got the AMCAF, I think it's the 1.5 final version. Now I downloaded this from Aminet and I'll put a link in the description down below so you can go and grab it. Um, I've transferred it into my programming folder here on my 1200. So if we go into this, we'll see there are a number of, uh, well, there's a couple of folders and there's a uh, file here called execute me first. Um, there's an AMCAF install folder which gives us a guide and the actual installer as well. What's in the examples? Can't see anything there because obviously those files are hidden on my workbench at the moment but we've got some stuff we can install basically. Now there's this execute me first um, executable file here and I'm going to run that first of all. Now the question everyone is probably asking is, Yawning Angel, have you read the install instructions? Well to that I say I've given them a tertiary glance. So um, I'm just going to dive straight in and punch this execute me first and we'll see what happens. I think it does some stuff in the background in terms of setting up the install. So, um, and, and I stand to be corrected on that, but let's dive in and run this first of all. So, yep, temporary signs, whoops, temporary signs were installed, that's gone now, that message, but it said temporary signs were installed, so now I can continue with the install. So let's now go into the MCAF install folder, dive in and run the installer. So, here we go, exciting times. Right, so we've got some text up here on the screen that says, welcome to a free demo version. Now, I did look through the guide briefly, and I'm pretty sure that this is the final version. This 1.5 is the final version of AMCAF. And despite it saying here about registering it, it doesn't need to be registered anymore. We can take a look at that in more detail later. But this gets us installed. Uh, obviously, we've got some details there of, of Chris, where he can be reached, etc. Um, so a kind of an info splash screen there. So let's hit proceed. Now, AMCAF installation software version 1.2. So install on disk, install on hard disk. So you've got the options here to install on floppy as well if you want. But come on, it's 2025. Who's installing this on a floppy disk? Um, nice bit of animation there in the background too. Pretty cool. Uh, we can quit. We can, we've got the option. So single installation steps, kill files format, copy AMCAF to hard drive, copy AMCAF to disk, copy examples to hard drive. Uh, blah, 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 create help file information. Right, okay, so there's a lot of stuff here. So select install on disk if you want to copy AMCAF to an AMOS Pro system disk. This program features a, features a full files copying or on disk files deleting procedure, so it's up to you. 
Hard disk users only need to click on install to hard disk, which will copy, copy the extension file directly onto your AP, your AP system drawer and will alter the interpreter config afterwards. Ooh, sounds interesting. So let's dive in then and do install on hard disk. So please select your AP system drawer. Okay, so I need to select my Amos Pro system drawer. I will. Um, so now I need to find my Amos Pro system drawer. So let's, so I'm gonna do that now. Right, so I need to go back to my Amos Pro installation. There's my AP system drawer. So I've, uh, let me just go back. Oh, I didn't wanna do that. Uh, AP system, okay. Right, version V1.5 beta 4 from 11th of January 98 will be installed. Okay, let's give it a go. Extension successfully copied. Okay, yay, keep up the good work. Object not found, select another file. Hmm, this is curious, what does this mean? Not sure, let's, what does why not do? Oh, select your interpreter config file. That's interesting. Um, I don't know where that is, so I need to have a look for that. I think I found where the interpreter config file is, and that is in uh, extras. There we go, interpreter config. So we've got interpreter config and interpreter config.amos. So I'm just gonna go with interpreter config. Click OK. This is not an Amos Pro interpreter config. Okay, um, so let's try again. Interpreter config.amos. This is not an Amos Pro interpreter config. Ooh, this is getting challenging. Keep stabbing away at this. We're gonna get there eventually. Um, interpreter config.info, but that's just the info file. Hmm. Select. Up. Ah, <laughs> it's actually in the Amos Pro folder. There's an interpreter config there. So it's in, uh, in my programming folder under Amos Pro and there's an interpreter config file at the root level of the Amos Pro folder. Let's try that. Yes, it is an Amos Pro interpreter config. This is weird. Okay, this is not behaving as it should. Uh, right, don't know what's going on here. So we'll try that one more time. Yeah, interpreter config. Amos Pro interpreter config. This is not an Amos Pro interpreter config. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board on this. Welcome back to um, a rather embarrassing situation where obviously I've been hunting for the interpreter config file and it was right under my nose all the time. So I'm in this Amos Pro root folder on my hard drive, and I was looking down here at interpreter underscore config, but right here is Amos Pro underscore interpreter underscore config, which I believe is the file I'm looking for. And it was right there all along. So there you go. Next time, Yawning Angel, read the instructions. Um, so that one I'm selecting, click OK. Do you want me to make a backup? Uh, yes and the config has been successfully altered. It's amazing what happens when you look and understand. Right, well done. Select a drawer you want to have the examples in or enter the name of a new directory. Okay, so I'm gonna come back. I think I might go into examples. Um, so I'm in the examples folder. Let's just click, let's just leave this. I'm leaving this in its default state and let's see what it does. So I'm going to click in here. All files copied. Hey, that's pretty good. The next procedure will append the command and function helps from the manual guide to the Amos Professional Help System. It won't be detected if they have been already updated. So only do this process once. Uh, for floppy users, blah, 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 blah. Hard disk users have the choice to make a backup or not, but I think it is not necessary. So let's dive on in, shall we? Dive on in, go on. And please select Amos Pro help text file. Now I need to find that, so back in a bit. So after some searching online, 
um, I have found the location of the Amos Pro help text file. And that is in your Amos Pro root folder. You need to go into accessories. There's an Amos Pro help folder in there. Click on that. And Amos Pro help.txt. There it is. Amos Pro underscore help.txt. So I've selected that. We'll click OK. Do you want me to make a backup? Uh, yes, we'll make a backup. Um, right, so here we go. So this is a problem we had with the Amos install. Remember that? We We've got this kind of negative uh, available hard drive space error has thrown up here. This issue caused me no end of problems when trying to do the original Amos install. And it looks like the same calculation has been performed here because it's saying there are only minus 1905992 kilobytes of free space on that disk. Um, and it's not enough. Negative space is not enough. We know that. So to get more space, kill something, um, as in files, as in files, okay? So I'm just going to abort that. So we won't, um, we won't make a backup. Help file appending was not successful. So I'm going to repeat that process. So let's just see if we can do the um, update to the Amos Pro help.txt without doing a backup of it. So do OK. Do you want to make a backup? No. Yeah, and it won't do it because there's not enough. It's saying there's not enough free space. So there's actually that error in in the code. So we could try and dig into the installer and try and get around that, but maybe not for this video. Uh, so let's abort that. Help file appending was not successful. That's fine. We'll abort that. But the question is now, I've clicked on abort. So have we actually, is it installed? Is AMCAF installed? Yes or no? So I think the only way to really find out, because down here, this isn't, you know, very helpful. Um, so I think what I might do is we'll quit out of this and we'll run Amos Pro and we'll see if we can issue some of the AMCAF commands and see if they're picked up or not. Shall we do that? Let's do that. Right, back to the workbench then. And uh, these, these guide files, uh, one's the AMCAF guide and one's the Amos guide. So let's go into the AMCAF guide if we can. And let's have a look at some commands, shall we? So let's go into graphics commands, graphical effects, font commands. Uh, do, do, do. I want to find, let's try some basic. Uh, we've got a turbo draw command. So we've got a turbo draw. So basically it, this, in, this is one of the commands which actually replaces one of the existing Amos commands. So this is replacing the Amos draw command. And the Amos draw is basically your start X and Y coordinates to your end X and Y coordinates. Um, so let's see. So this will give us our start and end position and we get a color as well. So let's dive back. So if I do turbo, turbo draw, uh, 100 comma 100 to 200 comma 200 comma what do you reckon four Let's see what that does so, hey look at that it works not the best color in the world yawning angel uh, let's try color five nice let's go back let's do a weight key on there and end look at that that seems to be working. So that's our turbo draw is working. So that says to me that the AMCAF commands are now part of this Amos Pro install. That's pretty cool. Let's try some more stuff briefly. Right, I've had a quick look through the guide and there's this F circle command, which looks pretty cool. So F circle is a command which has been missed in Amos for a long time. It draws a filled circle with the radius of R and the center X and Y. So this is great because previously you just had to draw the circle, then you'd have to fill it in separately. But a uh, one command that will draw and fill it, that's pretty cool. So let's give F circle a go, shall we? So let's dive back into some code. And um, this is just going to be a scratch piece of code here. So, oops, so bear with me. So let's do F circle. Uh, so we'll do that again. 100 comma, well, actually let's just do it 150. I don't know, radius of 50. And see that, so I've actually misspelled circle, but if I do it, spell it correctly, 
the interpreter picks it up. So that interpreter config file has been updated. That's looking pretty cool. Um, so let's do a wait key there and let's run it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And there's our line. Yes, this is really high tech graphical stuff here. And this is what you watch these videos for. <laughs> so that is amazing. So the fcircle command is working and the turbo draw is working. So yeah, I would say that AMCAF is installed under this version of Amos Pro and it's working. So based on that, I'll say that we're pretty good to go. So wrapping up then, uh, yes, AMCAF is definitely installed here nicely. What I've done, I've just tidied this program up. I've just thrown some code together, quick and dirty. Uh, I've got us opening a 16 color low res screen, clears the screen to black. I've put a loop around the F circle command with a wait key in there, which will draw circles and fill them in with a different color. Uh, and on my turbo draw line, I've just put a, a loop around that and it's just gonna draw a line and have it kind of swing round. Nothing too glamorous, but what I wanted to prove was the fact that the code is in there. And if I press F2, Amos is saying there's, there's no errors. Um, if I want to format the, the code, so if I, if I do F3 to do my indents, it's indenting okay, because if there were any errors or any problems, the interpreter would not do that. So let's run this, prepare to be amazed, not. Um, here we go then, blank screen. So press a key, field circle, field circle, which is the flash, that's the, the flash color there. Uh, color three, I think, blue. Look at that, it's just, and there's our turbo draw, interpretation there. Um, nothing too adventurous, but it just wanted, I just wanted to prove that the AMCAF extension is there and working. So happy days, it's all good. And we will follow this up with some more videos around how to use these instructions in your AMOS programs. And for that, we'll be coming later. Huzzah! And that is it for this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. In future videos, we're gonna to start to look at some of those AMCAF commands and functions and see how they improve the existing Amos Pro functionality. So if you don't wanna miss any of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel unless you've already done so. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that as it would help me with the YouTube algorithms, etc., etc. <laughs> But until next time, whatever you do, look after yourselves and keep it retro.